Let's talk about some foliage and how to add a custom foliage placer to Minecraft. You have questions about Minecraft modding or just want to hang out and see some cool creations from other people? Maybe you want to plug your own mod or suggest a tutorial? Well, join my Discord server linked in the description below. However, be sure to properly read the rules and then you'll be welcomed to a cool place all about modding and Calvin Joe's content. Alrighty, friends, it's back in Telegram once more. And in this tutorial, we'll be adding a custom foliage placer to Minecraft. So this is going to continue our custom tree journey, so to speak. Basically, last time we added a custom trunk placer and now the same thing is going to happen for a custom foliage placer. So for this, in our custom package over here in the tree, we want to make the pine foliage placer class. There you go. And in the tree package, we're also going to make the mod foliage placers. There you go. But we will once again start with the foliage placer class itself. We're going to extend this from the foliage placer class Hover over this and implement these methods over here. As you can see, a couple of them hover over this again. Create constructor matching super and we can now begin. So for the custom foliage placer, we will need a private or protected, it doesn't really matter, private final integer height in this case, which is going to be nothing. We're going to be adding this inside of the constructor. So this is going to be integer height. And then we're going to say this dot height equals to the height parameter. There you go. For this, we once again need a codec. This is going to be a public static final codec of type pine foliage placer, making sure we choose our custom one because the foliage placer over here for the spruce, for example, is also called the pine foliage placer as that is basically how a pine tree looks like. But in our case, we want to choose our own custom one and we want to say codec is equal to a record codec builder dot create pine foliage placer instance you can see basically just auto completing that with the tab key and we want to call the foliage placer ports method passing in the pine foliage placer instance over here after the first closing parenthesis we then want to call the dot and method over here codec dot int range we're going to do a range from 0 to 16 dot field of this is going to be the field height here in this case for the getter of fp to fp dot height after the second closing parentheses dot apply passing in the instance as well as the pine foliage placer colon colon new ending it with a semicolon and all of a sudden no more errors should be present as always of course you can take a look at the same code in the github repository so no worries at all in the foliage height we can then actually do this dot height so basically just returning the height over here and once again the create foliage method is the method that is basically corollary to the place trunk method over here. Basically, we are, we are going to set down the individual leaves blocks. But to do that, we also want to make a deliberate error here in the type and actually register the foliage placer. So let's take a look at that as well. That's going to be as easy as just making, once again, a new public static final deferred register, this type of, this time of foliage placer type of type question mark. This is going to be the foliage underscore placers and this is going to equal to deferred register dot create registries dot foliage placer type tutorial mod dot mod id and as always of course a public static void register method with an i event bus over here called event bus i'm going to call foliage placers dot register passing in the event bus parameter and there you go to now register the foliage placer a public static final registry object of type foliage placer type of type pine foliage placer once again making sure we choose our custom one pine underscore foliage underscore placer equal to foliage placers dot register the name is going to be the pine underscore foliage underscore placer and then a new supplier here of a new foliage place foliage placer type passing in pine foliage placer dot codec Ending it with a semicolon and once again, no more errors should be present over here and we can now proceed to return the type. So mod foliage placer types dot pine foliage placer dot get and also making sure we call the register method mod foliage placers dot register passing in the event bus over here to the register method and there you go. And now it is all about customizing. Now the customizing over here is once again going to be sort of just inching you towards the correct way of doing this. So once again, you have a couple of methods. The one is try place leaf. This is going to be trying to placing a leaf at the position that you are putting in over here. You can also put in the place leaves row with hanging leaves below or a place leaves row here in this case. I once again, highly, highly recommend you simply tr try out a bunch of things. One thing that's quite important is that when you take the P attachment over here, dot position, right? This position over here is going to be the first position above the last log that was placed. 
that is in theory if your custom trunk placer right has the same thing that you're basically putting in here being p pause above height right if you do that then that will be the general idea now in our case just let's just call the plays leaves row method over here a couple of times and let's just see p block setter and then we have the p random over here the config we then have attachment dot position dot let's say above zero for the time being with a range of two and then the local over here we will do a two as well the attachment dot double trunk in this case it's false but we can also take that from the attachment over here now if we were to duplicate this and just put the same thing in for a distance of basically zero one and two we will basically see what this is going to be creating i think that that's basically going to be the easiest and also i cannot recommend enough just play around with the create foliage method it is probably the best way to actually learn this you can of course also click on foliage placer and take a look at the different foliage placers over here for example the pine one right how does it create the foliage well this is how it creates the foliage right it just has a for loop over here that goes through and then creates the different type of foliage over here with leaves with rows in this case so it basically is as easy as looking at vanilla and also and it basically is just a little bit of a 3d math so to speak right just figuring out where to place the blocks and then you should be pretty much good to go the last thing of course is in the mod configured features instead of the blob foliage placer we now want our pine foliage placer making once again sure we choose the correct one and there we go of course we then also want to run the data to regenerate the json file over here for unconfigured feature and once that is the case we are basically good to go and we can jump into the game and see what type of foliage is being created all right we're back in minecraft and let's just spawn our tree and see what the freak happens and you can see at the very top over here we basically have exactly this now how does you know this foliage come to pass via the numbers that we've put in well let's take another look if we take another look at the numbers right so the distance over here right why would this be you know zero one two i thought that the distance above was exactly above the last one that we set here this is correct however the local y basically changes the height locally so it basically puts it up to higher and then it starts from there and then the range two right how does that work right is it range two well it basically takes a radius of two right so it would put in one this would be a radius of zero and then a radius of one would be this guy over here and then a radius of two is going to be a five by five which is exactly what it basically created three times over here and that is the way that the foliage placers work i once again highly recommend you just play around with this as much as you you know so choose and just see what you can basically come up with in terms of a custom tree there's a lot of lot of depth in this right as you have clearly seen there's so many different things that you can do with this but i highly recommend you just continue to play around with it and then you're gonna have some pretty cool custom trees added to your mod but yeah that is it for the custom foliage placer next time in this video highly highly anticipated custom biomes hope to see you there so yeah